Welcome to the Colonel Does Forza 6. Man, I went out and I got myself an Xbox One, got a couple games, and had to pick up the, uh, it's actually for the Forza 6 package, the, the bundle. So, looking forward to this, I love racing games, and I have not had a decent console since the Xbox 360, and it's, it's kinda, <laughs> it's old. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to playing Forza 6, and hope you are too. Uh, I've already gone through the um, the three races, or I guess the training thing, to see if I'm worthy or not, and uh, I didn't want to subject anybody to that, <laughs> so I did not. Uh, so we're going to start with the, the stories of motorsport, and uh, I guess the the core of the game is you got these five volumes. Super Street, Sports Icons, Grand Touring, Professional Racing, and Ultimate Motorsport. So let's get into it. <clears throat> also going to review the settings that I'm using, the difficulty level and all that stuff. Uh, I'll show you how we're doing it. This series is going to be a bunch of me playing uh, the game. For most of us, our first and sometimes only taste of racing comes on the streets. If you love cars, this is where it all starts. In the empty parking areas, and on the city streets where you race your mates between stoplights. We do this in the very first cars we owned, or the ones we saved up for later. Then we fiddled with the engines and the suspension until they went faster, and added stripes and stickers so they looked faster too. It's the same around the world. Whether it's on Japanese mountain roads, on Britain's back lanes, or America's super highways. We're talking about affordable heroes. Cars that bring performance to the people. Whether they're smoking around a parking lot or hammering along a city circuit you designed yourself. They aren't the most expensive, and they won't win every drag race. But they all prove one thing. You don't need a million dollars to have a car with a big heart. Everybody knows decals each make cars go faster. Each volume contains three series. You'll get to choose which car you'll use for each one. Cool. All right, so I guess we're unlocking... So there's five things, and this is the first one. And there's three separate series in here, and the first series is Challenger. And there's one of 15. Four races. Series one of 15. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So there's 15 total, so each one has three. That's probably what they just said, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you are now entered in the Challenger series. Each circuit in this series will challenge different aspects of your car and your skill as a driver. Let's go choose what kind of car you'll be driving. All right. Each division contains a group of cars from a specific car subculture. Select one of the highlighted divisions below to choose a car from its roster. All right, so I'm not a huge car aficionado. Uh, I enjoy the racing series. Um, you know, I don't know enough about cars, to be honest, but I just, I like going fast. What can I say? Um, and I, I'm actually more of a fan of open wheel, but uh, I recently started watching last couple of years, uh, Top Gear, so they've kind of switched me over in some way to some of these cars. And uh, so I'm looking forward to this. Comcast Sport Coupe is probably what I'm going to end up going with. Uh, this is small, affordable, rear-wheel drive cars. Built with one goal in mind. Driving hard and fast on the street and on the track. Alright. Hot hatchbacks. Not interested in those. Uh, Ultimate Spocom. What is that? Top tier sport compact cars park pack big performance into a small space built by manufacturers from across the globe. Sport compact. I think I'm more interested in the coupe. I'm not interested in the Japanese cars. Uh, I'm not a big rally guy. Um, this could be interesting. The classic compact. But let's let's start with the, the sport coupe. Two doors on a small car. Lightweight. Pokey, skinny tire, rear-wheel drive, and affordable. 
Sounds simple, doesn't it? Yet it takes guts for a manufacturer to produce cars like these. Cars that take the demands of practical motoring and place them on the non-existent back seat. Because really, they're made for one thing, driving. Even if you have nowhere to go. Sweet. Okay, so we can choose a bunch of cars. And actually, what I went through with the qualifier was actually the Toyota GT86. Um, so we got the Toyota Celica. Looks old. <laughs> Which I guess is, makes sense since it's 1994. Uh, and we can buy a car. Um... I don't think I'm ready to buy a car. In fact, I don't really want to get into a lot of customization. I just want to kind of go through the first series, just kind of stock. T86. Yeah, GT86. Due to its upgrades, your GT86 is not currently legal for compact sport coupes. You want to automatically configure your car for this car division. So I made some changes to it in the, uh, the qualifier, so I guess we will have to... Automatically configure your car for the car. Yes, let's do that. So, it's gonna cost me money to do that? Alright, I guess. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have started with the qualifier races, because then at least we just get You're right into the race. to race in the Super Street Challenger Series. Let's go. Yes, let's go. As you can see, I'm driver level three, affinity level two. The first race of this series takes place at Watkins Glen, a course that favors powerful vehicles that can make short work of its steep elevation changes. Probably not going to be my car. Yeah, I was, as I was saying, so this series is going to involve me uh, going through, just doing some solo laps, but uh, solo races. But I'm also going to actually do some collabs, uh, hopefully with Chef. So we'll, we'll race against both his avatar and him. <laughs> Alright, so Forza assists. Motorsport 6 is a realistic simulation that features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. In the assists menu, you can adjust these settings to experience the full depth of this simulation. Alright, so I think, I hope it's already, it's kept the changes that I've made. Uh, so you can see there's there's mod slots, I don't know if that's new or not, the Forza 6. Uh, I've got plus 6 on grip and plus 6 uh, at Yas Marina. Alright, assists. Alright, so how I'm racing is yeah this is okay this is my changes so i'm using braking only so it's it's giving me the line just on braking um i'm assuming at some point during this series we'll probably go with with nothing and just kind of guess at it but i'm i'm an amateur <laughs> i'm putting that out there right now i'm an amateur so we're just going to do braking um, and i'm playing with a controller i'm not playing with a, a wheel so um, it's going to make it a little more difficult, some of these settings, so I'm, I'm going a little easy on myself. Uh, the braking is going to be assisted. Um, probably could do ABS on, but start it out with assisted. Uh, whenever you approach a corner, the system automatically applies the brakes appropriately so that you can make the turn. You know what? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's let's leave it at assisted. It's probably a wussy way out. Uh, steering is going to be assisted. Yeah, we're going to use assisted. I need all the help I can get. Traction stability control. We're just using the stability control um, when it looks like we're going to spin out. Because it's frustrating for me <laughs> trying to get around corners and stuff with all the banging and everything going on. It's just it's so irritating it's just it's not fun so I'm leaving the stability control on uh, shifting we're using manual shift uh, we're just doing cosmetic damage we have rewind on I have yet to use it I don't well I've, I've tested it out but I haven't really used it in a race so cool we got a race bonus of 25% sweet 
Uh, driver, the drive avatar difficulty. We're using average, and uh, we're not limiting aggression. And we are showing what deliveries. Uh, oh, okay. I guess the the custom paint jobs and stuff. And we'll, we'll probably change the difficulty at some point if it looks like it's getting a little too easy. Um, and I haven't made any changes to the car other than the, the mods that we've dropped in there. And we've only got the, the grip plus 6%. So I don't really want to mess with too much customization as I say. We'll go through maybe the first series and just kind of race it stock. This is go! I apologize in advance for how bad I'm going to suck. Oh, there's Chuff, number 11. And I am very aggressive. And I guess I better take my finger off the brake. <laughs> oh, man. It's been like 45 minutes since I last raced. I've already forgotten half what I what I did. Out of my way, punks. Yeah, that's a huge straightaway. Really difficult to in these controllers, man. I'm always afraid I'm gonna spin out. I'm out of my way, dude. Oh man, so we're in seventh place. The racetracks that they have in the demo are very flat. <laughs> They're flat, but they have lots of turns. Believe in brakes. In my way, dude. Come on. Isn't there a penalty for blocking or, or something? <laughs> Is that one of those inflatable dudes? Uh. Dang. That wasn't a good turn. It's in the wrong gear. Come on, baby. I don't know how what the, the profile of this car is. I don't know if it, it accelerates well. Or if it's uh, you know it's got a better top speed than some of these other cars. As I say, I'm, I'm not a huge car aficionado, so I don't know all the details for these things. For me, cars more about how it looks. <laughs> Don't spin out. And if anybody has any suggestions on uh, you know, how best to approach the, the gear changes and stuff, I mean, this is the way I drive. I, I don't always wait until it gets into the road. It's probably not the way you're supposed to drive either.
Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Probably left that gear change a little too late. We can find this guy. Out of the way, dude. Slow me up. Dude! Of drafting works. Apparently not. Come on, man. Find the inside there. There we go. the gear change there, man. Come on, bet. So where do we end up? Second? Good turn. We're on the straightaway. This is the final straight. Sweet! Second place, baby! I don't know how to drive. I can't drive 55 though. Alright, on our way. Okay, I won 3,500 credits. Every affinity level earns you bonus credits. Sweet. Can't remember what the affinity levels were for though. Was that the Stig just walking by? Challenger series, one race complete, three races remaining. Sebring full is the next one. Your next race takes place in heavy rain at Sebring International awesome. Raceway. Racing on a heavy wet rain. track poses several challenges. Tires lose grip easier during cornering. Braking distances are longer and deep puddles accumulate, causing a risk of hydroplaning. All right, no problem. Incidentally, it is raining cats and dogs here. <laughs> so this is, this is, uh, I've got, I've had practice. I've had practice. What can I say? I'm thinking that probably after this episode, uh, all of these cutscenes will probably shorten. Uh, all the loading scenes, not the cutscenes, but the loading piece after she's finished talking. Practice. You don't need no practice. Practice. Lambs. All right, let's go. Let's go. Out my way. Oh crap! Are you kidding me? Is it that bad? <laughs> Guys, as our, our stoppers. <laughs> Don't be spinning me around, man. Oh man! Oh crap! It's a, like a wall of spray. Guess I need to change gears again. As long as I'm not falling behind. Out of here, dude. No cheat. <laughs> Only I can cheat. Oh crap! Puddle on the friggin' racetrack? That's not safe. Muscle him out of the way, man. It is hard to... F I've never raced this track before. And... And 
it's difficult because I I don't want to take my eyes off the road. <laughs> and I'm looking at the map and I'm trying to figure out where I am. No, no, no. Don't lose it, don't lose it. slower on like the it's still concrete right no get off the grass dude man I'm in ninth place it's terrible Suck! That's right, get out of my face. Out of my face! You too, dude. That's right, spin off your turn. Alright, so we're in fifth place. We're not going to win this race, obviously. Uh, I'll be happy if we finish in the top three. Man, I thought I had to go around that corner in a second. Off the grass. Get off my lawn! a draft in here. Although, <laughs> I guess I guess there's not too much of a draft when it's raining cats and dogs like this. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Alright, we're going to finish this race in fourth place. That's respectable, I think. Do I have to finish in the top three? I guess that's the question. Didn't get too much XP. Got some affinity. Oh, I gotta redo the race. Oh, nuts. Alright, well. We noticed you have used this design more than a few times. Liking a design can boost its rating you want to like this design? I don't know. What am I... What is the... Let's say yes. Sure. 
Yes, this is the one I like. No, it's not. This isn't the one I like. Um, alright. I think I'm gonna... We're gonna do this race again. <laughs> but I think we're not gonna do it in this episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Again, uh, new series. Please forgive my derpiness. I'm not that the best uh, at driving games, even though I enjoy them a lot. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions on, uh, you know, wait, tips on how I can improve my driving skills, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, I guess until next episode, please do take care.